Hello again, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing two things. We're gonna be doing a chocolate, another chocolate review and another wine review. This chocolate is Licamore chocolate. Um, this is the second time I'm making this video because, you know, the first one just disappeared on me. But yeah, anyways. Licamore chalk artesian chocolate um, sweet taste of Jamaica so came in this little brown in this black packaging um, it's white chocolate with matcha uh, this company is located where um, same complex that CVM TV is at on above Constant Spring Road all right so it came in this and then it was wrapped in this brown paper. All right, so I had one bar already, but this is how it looks. I think it's, oh, I think it's so pretty. Look at it, guys. It's nice, it's, it looks like canvas. It's like a painting, like some abstract painting. Or you can just think, say, you know, you know, the waste bucket were paint, you know? <laughs> or then put the paint in. <laughs> Ugh, like splashes of paint everywhere. Anyways, I'm gonna have one more bite for you guys. I hope to, pray to God, this recording don't get deleted again because I'll be pissed. But look at it. Mm. I enjoy the taste of this. This was a Christmas slash birthday gift. Um, Leslie, you did well, my friend. You did well. This was great. I really like this. I wonder how the milk chocolate would taste, or even dark chocolate would taste with this. Mm. You know, I don't know how matcha tastes. I've never had matcha tea before. So I have no idea if I'm tasting matcha in this because <laughs> I don't know how matcha tastes, but I like the chocolate. That's all y'all need to know. All right. So we're going to be moving on to the wine. Um, this chocolate is so good. This is from South Africa. I bought this in Brooklyn supermarket. It's called Obi, Obiqua, Obiqua, Obiqua. Um, it is Merlot, vintage is 2016. Alcohol percentage, 30%. Mm, get lit tonight. All right, fruity and approachable wine with berry flavors and smooth, lingerish finish. Yes, you're right. All right, let's smell it. What do I smell? Smell currants, smell raisins. Mm. <sighs> smell I want to say licorice I hope it doesn't taste like licorice because I do not like the taste of licorice at all yeah all right now let's taste uh. young wine yeah. God. <laughs> Don't like this wine. <coughs> God damn. This is a no. Damn. This is a poured a lot.
Alright, let me try it again. Wine, bit oil, it has a like oh. 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 shit's nasty. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to be rude, but like right when you're about to swallow it, it just tastes very bitter. But when you swallow it, it's not bitter anymore. It's very light. Um, it's, it's light. I, I can't, it's not a heavy wine. So I would not pair this with um, heavy food. More like light chicken. Remember light chicken? A light meal, like chicken or fish. Or... Um, not a fatty steak no fatty food no fatty food with this at all you can tell how young it is based on oh you guys cannot see you can't so uh, you can tell how young it is based on the white you see but it don't make sense to explain it to you because y'all cannot see. And based on the color, you can also tell it's young. It's clear, very, even though it's red, it's like clear. If it's an aged wine, it would be, um, it wouldn't be this red, it would actually be a little almost foggy looking you might think the wine is spoiled but it's not spoiled <sighs> don't buy this wine <laughs> don't buy it i don't know it tastes like flavored water like you know what it tastes like? Sorrel with lime juice. No sugar. Yes. Just imagine sorrel with some lime juice. Sugarless sorrel with some lime juice. Yeah. Oh, God. Why I keep drinking it? I'm, I'm trying to, like, make it taste good. All right, what I can remember in school, yeah, about regions, wines from South Africa are not the best because their climate is just not suitable for wine, um, for growing grapes. So the wines that come from the grapes are, they're bitter and they are absolute heat. It was absolutely correct because this shit was bitter. <sighs> Don't buy this. I bought this in a Brooklyn supermarket. It's probably available in Mega Mart or, you know, the Shushans or I don't know, or General Foods. But if you see it, don't buy it. <laughs> no buy it. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with the rest of this because I just opened this bottle. Uh, let me eat some chocolate. Get this awful taste out my mouth. Yeah, all right. Well, this is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I did. Um, maybe I can use this in some food, you know, some wine sauce. But... All right, this was fun. I had fun. I really did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you find it informative. Um, if you have any questions, let me know below. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
and i will see you on another episode bye